Okay, I, uh, I decided to do a video on my wood boiler so far. Um, figured it would be a lot easier to explain it than taking uh, pictures. Anyway, this is the front of it right here. I'm going to show you the inside. If uh, this will show up. Basically, this is the the firebox here. Uh, the wood will be in here. Um, all these pipes are where the air is going to be pumped in. Uh, the bottom ones have, if you can see, there's some holes in those that's going to jet air out to, to create the initial burn. And then the rest of the air is going to go through all these other pipes and uh, basically heat the air and then finally eject the air uh, right back here. Um, you can't really see, but there's a hole going through the bottom there. I'll show you, I'll show you that from the underside in just a second here. But basically, uh, all this is sealed. There's no uh, exhaust. The only exhaust will go down through that hole right down there in the bottom, the same place where I'm, I'm forcing all the, the hot uh, air into. So basically, you'll create a primary burn inside this chamber. Um, you'll create a lot of smoke in here. Um, but then all that smoke will be forced down through that hole, which will also inject a bunch of fresh air, fresh hot air to complete the burn. Uh, that burn will force it down through the bottom here. Um, if I can go down here. Uh, basically, I, I don't have the fire bricks in here, but you can see all the these uh, metal pieces are basically to hold the fire bricks in. Uh, the air is going to be forced down there into a little chamber where the fire bricks are. Uh, where it'll get very hot and, and produce a complete burn. From there, the hot air will uh, basically go out and into these areas, uh, which is all surrounded by water, uh, which will cool the air down and heat the water up. Uh, and it'll be forced to the back there, which goes up the chimneys, which are all in water as well. I have, have two chimneys to uh, provide more surface area, more heat exchange to heat the water. All right, I'm gonna look through the top and uh, we can see more what that looks like here. So this is the top and as you can see, there's the two, two chimneys um, which come out through the back and uh, go through water all the way to the top of this. So you have a lot of surface area, it goes basically the entire distance of the water from the bottom to the top, uh, which will be the hot air coming up, um, heating the the water. Um, uh, the whole firebox you can see is surrounded, will be surrounded by water um, all the way around. Um, there's about six inches underneath there. You can't really see, but it's it's uh, it's off the bottom, so there'll be water on the bottom as well. Um, you can see in the back here, I put some heat exchangers. This is for uh, uh, basically the, the hot water in my house for like showers and whatnot. Basically this will replace my hot water heater in my house. It'll just be pumped through here, through these exchangers and back into my water heater. Uh, well, I'll still have my water heater, but I just won't have to have it turned on so it won't be using electricity. It'll just be used as a hot water storage tank, which will be heated through this. I had to use these heat exchangers because uh, uh, the hot water in my house will be pressurized and uh, the water in this tank will not be pressurized. Uh, so. So I had to have those heat exchangers. Um, that's basically it. Uh, the top here, I'm not going to actually weld anything on. As you can see, I, I put some uh, 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 lip around the entire thing, and I put uh, I welded those onto the pipe. So basically, I have a sheet of metal that I'll put down on here, and I'm going to screw it down. Put some uh, uh, RTV glue or something like that, so it'll actually seal it off and uh, screw it down and that, that way in case I need to actually do some work on here I can pull that off and get inside without cutting open my uh, my uh, my boiler and uh, so basically that's it um, I've, I've also water tested this I filled it up to the top uh, don't have any leak, leaks as yet so hopefully uh, everything works out well if I do have leaks I can always pull this top off and uh, and weld from here. I can weld from the inside. I can also weld the outside here. My welding was not the greatest. I'm not a real great welder, but I was able to make make them all waterproof. And uh, oh, back here, uh, this is the uh, that's where the hot water will go in, or that's where the hot water will come out. Hot water will go. The the cool water from the hot water tank will go in there. Um, 
I also have uh, basically just holes that uh, right here, this is plugged off right now when I was water testing, but basically that will be uh, where the hot water will go out and into my in-floor heating or any heating sources in my house. It will return through one of those bottom ones. Um, anyway, that's it. Hopefully that helps explain a little bit more what I'm doing. Um, I'm building the doors right now. thought I'd get this video before I got them on. Uh, but they'll just basically have the top door and the bottom door. That way I'll be able to put wood in the top. The bottom door I'll be able to... Uh, uh, clean out any ashes as well as uh, change any uh, fire bricks or any maintenance that may need to be done down there. Give me access to everything. Um, I'll do I'll do another video once I get the doors on and and everything set up more. Uh, anyway, hopefully that helped a little bit.